Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss a couple of plugins for DaVinci Resolve. Motion VFX has contacted us to reveal that product and give our honest opinion. This video will help you a lot by identifying the right plugins that can enhance your video qualities and save you time during the editing process. I run over faster all the offered options for each four plugins that I choose. Let's dive in. First one is M Keynote. According to the creator, this plugin is based on minimalistic and clean Apple Keynotes. So, all the effect transitions and tiles will be smooth and simple. Install the plugin and here, inside DaVinci Resolve, all the keynote content can be found inside of the effects panel. Type M Keynote here in the search bar to see all the content variety. It includes backgrounds, tiles, effects, logos, transitions, and more. If you place your mouse over the effect, you can see a preview and know what each of these options does. By clicking on this star in the corner, you can save this effect as a favorite. To add some of these prefabs, you just need to grab them and drag them above your main clip in the timeline. Move to the inspector panel to change the settings as you want. All the MK Notes prefabs settings are concentrated in this panel, from the simple background effects to the most complex ones as the placeholders. In general, if you like minimalism and want to create professional YouTube videos, the MK Note plugin is a great choice, with interesting effects and easy customization. As you can see, this is a composition that I created, utilizing some of its tools. It's a great result just because of the great customization options. It does not take so much time to create. This plugin has one negative aspect though. You need a good computer to process all prefabs and configurations during editing. But besides that, everything else is great. The second plugin is the M Transition Zoom. We all know that transitions are a challenge to create because they need to be fast, smooth, and creative. And of course, transitions are important to any type of video. Fortunately, the M Transition Zoom plugin can help you out. It has some different transitions based on zooming animations, which are perfect for video creators. And it goes beyond that, simple to use, and a high-engine computer isn't necessary to see all the prefabs. To use it, you must insert at least two consecutive clips on your timeline, then go to Video Transitions and search for M Transition Zoom Presets. Grab the transition you want and drag it between two clips on the timeline. See the result. The third is about text and titles specifically. If you want to add a Hollywood feel to your videos, M Title Cinematic can help you a lot with that. The animated and creative titles provides a professional face to any kind of video. This plugin gives you the possibility to add cinematographic titles easily and fast. Furthermore, they are completely adjustable. You might insert the preset over your main video. And in the inspector panel, you can edit all the settings to create something unique and specific for your case. Therefore, in particular, cinematic effects are useful when working with videos for entertainment, helping make some stories, creating the best look, and engaging more viewers. But instead, this one is kind of specific. It could be better though. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, M Title Cinematics 2 content is specific, great, but specific. Look, this is a composition I made using the available presets of M Title Cinematic 2. The last plugin is MTuber 3. This plugin has a lot of different presets like backgrounds, tools, calls to action, and more. However, as an honest reveal, I have a few things to say about it, some negative and some positive. Let's start with the negative ones. Most of the backgrounds aren't useful at all. Using the basic tools of DaVinci, you can easily and quickly create background animations using slides and easy effects better than these. Honestly, you don't even need the Fusion tab to recreate some of that. Icons aren't great either. They have the same animation, and particularly, I don't see much use for them even if you have a YouTube channel. Alright, I pointed out all the negatives. Let's move on to the positives though. MTuber is a plugin designed to facilitate video editing for YouTube creators, and one of its best features is the prefabs for calls to action. The most important thing about a YouTube video is to retain the audience and convert that into numbers of subscribes, likes, or comments. MTuber's call to action is an important part of increasing conversions, and it comes with a variety of them. With different animations and easy customizable in the Inspector panel, it has subscribed and like buttons, phrases, and much more. 
two presets are interesting too. It helps to focus the viewer's attention on a specific part or point of the video. For example, you can put in an additional screen, just split it into two images, or even add some indicator to your main clip. The transitions and intros are well animated, smooth, and creative. Look, this is a composition I made with this plugin. In conclusion, these plugins are great, but in my opinion, they have some to improve. Nevertheless, most of them are useful for a specific case. MKNote is perfect for people that enjoy minimalism. MTitle Cinematic is for those that are seeking entertainment videos and Hollywood looks in their edits. MTuber3 facilitates the video creation to YouTube specifically. And, in my opinion, the M Transition Zoom is more generalistic. Every video needs good transitions, and it delivers them quite well. I hope this tutorial has helped you discover what Motion VFX plugins offer to enhance your video's quality. Feel free to check their website and explore everything they have to offer. The link is in the description.